I was on the way to the airport, and I got a call saying Andrew had had a mystical experience and was gone. The undisputed king of partying himself has abruptly disappeared from the spotlight after deleting his website and all of his social media accounts only days after his critically acclaimed album God Is Partying was released. Fans have been very concerned and are trying to figure out what's going on with the singer. Everything was shut down. I haven't seen him, man. He's gone. And it's like, is he doing this intentionally? Is this, a, is this fake? And then it's like, tell people the truth, but then also misdirect them, put in, put in misdirection. You know? Metal Sucks has covered this story and we've linked to their reporting in the description. They point out that there was only a brief message posted to Andrew WK's now deleted Facebook page. I turned around and my phone didn't even ring, man. It was just this lady and she said she was mother from the Motivation Collective. She told me to write a song and gave me a place to send it. So within 24 hours, I did. Hire different lead vocalists to sing on different albums. Make it sound like multiple different singers, just like the people on the album co uh, covers, should look different. It, it coincides exactly with the idea, the ideas that he's perpetuating. And it, again, it perpetuates the idea of tell the truth, but also obfuscate the truth as well. Use sim symbolic releases, dates, song lengths, uh, album lengths, uh, other lucky and unlucky numbers. Pre-stage and post-stage should feel both orchestrated unbelievably and like the entire history was both invented and tampered with after the fact.